All right, here's our little tutorial. This first one's going to be over dominant traits. So here you go. Here would be a pedigree set up with just open and closed um, circles and squares. In this case, you're told that it's a dominant trait, right? So at least you know where you can start. So you assume dominance. How do you approach this? What's the first thing we do? Yes, just like we said in class, right? Set up what do your genotypes mean so that you don't get confused. In this case, right, anything with a dominant allele looks like the trait or is sick, is affected. Little d. Little d is wild type or normal. Okay? Little d, little d. Which ones are these guys? The not affected, the opens. So what would we do? We'd go immediately and fill in all of the open squares and open circles with the genotype we know. Right? That's all they can be. It's a dominant trait. Whoops, forgot that little guy right there. And so then what do we know about the other ones? Well, it depends. Sometimes we have to look at parents. Sometimes we have to look at the kids. So anyone that's colored in, we know has to have at least right one. Could have two. Might have the little allele. But at least one big D. So we can put that in for each one of these to help us remember. And then... Sometimes we might not know what their second allele is, and sometimes we would. Now this top guy over here in generation one, generation one, number three, right? We can't look at the parents because we don't know what they are, but we can look at the children. So because this cross of three and four results in some affected and some unaffected, we know that each one of these offspring got one of their little d's from their mom, where'd they get the other one? E -e -e. Yep, you guessed it, from dad. Which means dad has to have a little d. We know the big d for these guys came from the dad, so what is their other allele? Had to come from mom, what is it? You betcha, little d, little d. And what are the probabilities? All of these are one. That's all they can be. They can't be anything else. There's no possible way to be any other genotypes if it's a dominant trait. Okay? And then now we're going to look at this cross, right, and these offspring. Again, this fits because, right, and we know, I guess I should use the same colors, we know the big D for each of these came from the mom, and the only thing dad has to give away is the little d's. So guess what? Big D, little d. And there you have it. That's figuring out a pedigree for dominant traits. Thanks for listening, and I will see you, or talk to you, or talk at you, probably, very soon.